Standardization of resource tags is critical for managing cloud infrastructure at scale. It's helpful to detect when tags deviate from your standards, but even better to correct those deviations. We can do that with the new Azure Tags mod for Flowpipe, just by configuring some variables and running commands in the console. Let's take a look. Here are the existing tags on some storage accounts. The first thing we want to do is add the mandatory tag, env. Clone the mod into the current directory. Here's a rule set to add a mandatory tag. We set approvers to the empty list here. That means we'll just detect violations, but not correct them. OK, let's run the detect and correct storage accounts with incorrect tags pipeline with those variables. Flowpipe finds the storage accounts and tells us what actions it would take, but takes no action. Now, let's take action subject to approval. Here's the same rule set, but now we've set approvers to default, so it'll be interactive with the terminal as the default place for interaction. You can also configure this so the decision making happens in Slack or email. Let's run the pipeline again, pointing it at this new package of variables. And we'll apply the change to both storage accounts. Well, let's recheck the situation. We've added the missing mandatory tag to both storage accounts, but we've still got a deprecated tag, CC, on one of them. Let's correct that. Here's another package of variables that updates tag keys based on pattern matching. If a key is CC or cost center, spelled the British way, we'll coerce it to American style cost center. By leaving approvers empty, we'll let this pipeline run without pausing for approval. The default action is notify, which would be a dry run, but we want to do it for real. So we set it to apply. Okay, let's check what happened. The deprecated tag CC is coerced to cost center. And both storage accounts have the standard env tags. We've looked at the add and update keys primitives. There's also remove to get rid of prohibited tags. Remove except, which is the inverse of remove. And update values, which is the counterpart to update keys. You might want to enforce these changes at scale. It would be tedious to do that with one at a time approval. So let's look at how to automate. Here's another package of variables set up to do that. Note that we can combine primitives to build up a complex rule set. This time, we need to put Flowpipe into server mode to handle a query trigger on a schedule. We can see that the query trigger is enabled and on a schedule every minute for the convenience of this demo. And we can see it's running a pretty fancy Steampipe query to find storage accounts matching this complex rule set. Query doesn't find anything because all of our storage accounts are in compliance. Now let's create a new storage account with no tags and see what happens. Hope I found it and fixed it. We have achieved continuous compliance for tags on Azure storage accounts. The pipeline we've seen here is one of a family of pipelines for various taggable Azure resources. Remember, although we've shown approvals happening directly in the console, you can route those decisions through other channels like Slack or email. It's a really flexible and powerful mod, and we know people will get lots of mileage out of it. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to try out Flowpipe for yourself, download it today for free at flowpipe.io. See the description for links and other details.